Yo, yo guys, this is Rainbow Yoshi here. Here's a little bit of a behind the scenes on how my window displays work. So here's the window right here. Um, if you're wondering what I use for the screen, it's just a basic shower liner. It's nothing too fancy. You could get these for like two, you know, like two bucks at Walmart or something like that. I got a two pack of them because I was anticipating on using them on the lower floor where the two windows are where I used my flame lights last year for Halloween, but that ended up getting canceled and I had a, and so I'm just using it up here. So that's the screen right there. Now onto where, it act, where all the magic happens, I guess. Well, here's my Optima projector. It's just your uh, typical projector that you could get from like Best Buy or Walmart or something. This is one of the higher end ones, which is why you were able to see that the image was much better. So this is a 4K projector, but it only does up to 1080p anyway, the Amos FX videos, but we'll get to that in a second. But this is what plays the videos. This is a media player. You can get this on Amazon, I believe, for like 20 bucks. I believe I paid for this one. Um, uh, do note, though, I don't think it comes with its HDMI cable, so you may need to get one of those separately. But that's not too big of a deal. They're kind of cheap nowadays. And coming out of the media player is this hard drive. This is where all the decorations are stored. So I just plug this into the media player and I just pick whatever holiday I want. Now, you do need a PC to format this hard drive because I tried it on a Mac and it didn't work. So you do need a PC to get this to work properly. Otherwise, you can use an SD card or a flash drive. It just won't have as much storage and you'll need multiple flash drives, you know, for multiple holidays. And then finally, how I got the audio out was this. This is a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver, although I use it as a transmitter. So this goes into the back in the headphone slot of my projector. And then this sends a signal to the Bluetooth speaker that was outside when you heard my uh, live stream audio last night. This sends a signal to the Bluetooth speaker outside so you can actually hear the audio for the decorations. So hopefully this was I was able to clear things up for you guys on how I got this all to work. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like and also comment and subscribe, guys. See you all later.